Hi, this is Liz and welcome to Learning with Liz. And today we're going to be talking about our 401k required minimum distribution, also known as our RMD. So as we know with the RMD, you need to begin taking distributions out by your 70th and a half birthday or the year that you retire. So now the question is, what happens if you have an RMD for a deceased person? It's not comfortable to talk about, but it's something that we definitely need to address because it's a common question. So let's say for example, my husband passed away and he had already began to make his RMD each year. So let's say he took out $20,000 in 2018. Once he's deceased in 2019, I need to take out one more distribution before I can hold on to the money. So I'm required in 2019 to take the same amount that he took out the first time in order to close it out. Then that money really depends on the age of the beneficiary. So let's just say I'm 59 years old. I still have some time until I'm 70 and a half to have to take that out and do distributions. So the rule of thumb is if the person already took out one distribution or multiple, I have to take out one more and then the rest of the money is determined by the age of the beneficiary. And that's it. That's how we deal with RMDs for deceased people. Now there's so many other things that we could talk about with lump sums, five-year plans, just so many other things that we're gonna get into detail about next time. So until next time, make sure you follow us on Instagram. Ciao.